Missing a little jumper there, but when you got two of your best defenders on the Washington Wizards not communicating early on. Ursan getting an easy one last possession. Bledsoe here. Eric Bledsoe seemed to know that would snap. But obviously with the trip back from Paris, just kind of got to get back in a rhythm a little bit. Bledsoe missing a three this time. The Bucks got off the plane here. It's fast to 100 all right. And you really do believe when he says, look, we're not trying to win 70 or not up on the win record. He's trying to play the right way and stacking up the wins. Washington. Yeah, Washington not really getting a rhythm. You think of that timeout. Coach Brooks is probably into him a little bit, telling him to play with some intensity, but that was a bad shot. Wesley Matthews pulls the arrow. Three. Yeah, Isaiah Thomas getting some looks early. The guy that's really going to get this team going is Bradley Beal. He will be an assist guy. Milwaukee leading by 10. Missed three, rebound for Bledsoe. Mahimi, under 30% as a three-point shooter. Yeah, the Bucks got to be careful, though, because at that position, it'll be Davis Bertan soon. Middleton for three. Milwaukee, five. Closing in on the six-minute mark in the first quarter. Bledsoe. Good try, good try. Isaiah Thomas. Chris Middleton has Kobe in his last game here in Milwaukee. Um, and he was, I had never met him before. And he was exceptionally nice. He ended so He couldn't have been more of a gentleman. Um, it was just absolutely sweet. So that's my real only memory of him, other than as a fan watching him play. They're going to have to guard Milwaukee from three. Eight for 11 from three for Milwaukee. But Davis Bertans, he's... He's the guy for them that can stretch the floor. Just like that. Count the basket. Is stretch four. It's nine a game. I love it. DiVincenzo well behind the arc. And Bledsoe skying. And one again. Great. Get a look. Bertans and Beal, the two top weapons in terms of proclivity to score inside. Beal and outside hurt. Chris Middleton bodying up with Gary Payton. They went at each other in practice. Gary Payton, 18 games with Milton. 53-37, Milwaukee. The Bucks have led by 20 already. Bledsoe, 16 points. I mean, it, when Bledsoe gets 15 already. Nine minutes remaining in the second quarter. Watch him snake through, finding a perfect opening for the shot. He was doing it and then sharing it with guys like Giannis and you know, even Pat, so he said when he was in high school. Here's Smith with the miss. You remember this. Two weeks ago, I asked Darvin Ham how you coach elite players like Giannis who can perhaps do things that's a two, or you can't do what you're asking him to do. And he said, I always go back to my time with Kobe Bryant, and I tell other players that just do what Kobe did. Take a thousand shots from the same position. Take that fade away. Ten thousand. Competing against to win a championship. But with Kobe, it was different. And I think as Bucks fans, we continue to get to know Giannis and how hard he works and the mentality he has. Let's so again get so far has looked like those three things. The Bucks scoring the ball, playing quick, getting what they want. Washington defense, a little bit absent. The Bucks have their biggest lead, 23 points. You can make it 26. The 11th three-pointer made. The Bucks made 14 three-pointers in the first half. So that time Washington played pretty good defense. Bucks moved the ball well. Oh my. Bradley Beal. Peasant Beal had a chuckle about it. Middleton hit the technical free throw. 29 for him. Right back. Brooke Lopez. How you like that, huh? Seven points for Thomas. Yeah, Isaiah Thomas too. What, what, what an amazing story. Nine and a half to play in the third quarter. Like so. His fourth. 
Letro backs out all the way to midcourt. Five on the shot clock. He wanted to go downhill. He went the furthest as Matthews. Beal made the free throw. Beal tried to behind the back, it appeared, but he lost it. Letro! Foul to knock today. Kid wouldn't love that. Jim, I wish I could tell you how many night lights and mini pennants and to be honest, rubber duckies I have at my house with three youngsters. The future pick of Isaiah Thomas. Came to Milwaukee from Chicago when Joe Alexander was traded to the Bulls. Then that pick went to Sacramento. When the Bucks got Brockman, John Brockman. Chris Middleton. Yeah, and Isaiah Thomas, another interesting factor. He was the last pick in the draft in, in 2011. Bledsoe, Middleton and Bledsoe. Bledsoe, well behind the arc. Troy Brown hauls in the rebound. See, the referees are calling some of those on Washington as well. Third on Mahinmi. Third team foul. The Bucks have two. A lot of whistles in this game. Just under six minutes to play in the third quarter. Bledsoe. Good defensive work by Thomas Bryant. Yeah. That's, that's, we get you back in it. The Bucks had a 46 point second quarter. Kyle Corbin. That is. Field out scores. Two bucks 41 to 29. They keep that going to give themselves a chance, but Washington can score with most teams. They just can't stop anyone. Yeah, and 120. Back to Bledsoe. Yes. Thomas Bryant has scored his number 13. He's a product of the G League. Plenty of time down there. You can see that it has paid off. Bledsoe, Hampton, Brooke, and Wesley Matthews. Yeah, Gary Payton Jr. up here trying to make things tough. Full court press with just one guy. But Bledsoe foul again. Well, your jersey's untucked or your... Well, that can't be a delay of game if you have to tuck it in. Right, you're right. He didn't even try to take off the warm-up. <laughs> can't even make a decision. Mike Budenhoser said, let's go. Come on, move it. Don't slow down now. Dante. Yes. For 19 threes for the ball back. Fans appreciate this effort. Yeah, that's a heck of a performance.